in this class we are going to explain how we can package our class files into a jar file a jar file is like a zip file which contains all the class files that have been compiled from the java files so let's look at eclipse in eclipse i have all my sources under the source folder so if you take any program like demo equivalence the package name for demo equivalence is com.training.equivalence and this is the name of the class and the java file is located under source com training equivalence and demo equivalence so this package name has to reflect the directory structure and the package name reflects the directory structure both for your source files which are your java files and also for your compiled files which are your dot class files the dot class files will go into the bin folder and you will see the same structure for the dot class files so the demo equivalence dot java when it gets compiled it it will create a demo equivalence dot class file and that will have the same structure as this so under the bin folder you if you go to com training and equivalence under that you'll see the demo equivalence dot class so all these files starting from the com folder they can be packaged as part of a jar file a jar file is nothing like a nothing but a zip file so inside the jar file you will see the same structure and the way you create a jar file is by using the jar command the jar command is part of the jdk toolkit so if you go to your jdk toolkit i am under my jdk16031 under the bin folder you will find a command called jar jar.exe so if this jar, if this if the bin folder of the jdk installation is in your path you can inst you can invoke the jar command to create jar files and to list the contents of a jar file so the way you create a jar file is you go under your training bin folder okay and here you will see the folder called com under com you will see a folder called training like for example the equivalent file for equivalence the class files for this package will be under this folder now let's package everything from this into a jar file let's call that as a train jar train dot jar file so i'm going to create this by using the jar command but before i make the jar command issue issue the jar command i check whether my path contains the jdk16 bin folder because the jar.exe is under that folder so i can invoke the jar and i say create the cvf means c means create v means verbose verbose means it will give a lot of output on your console and f means to create a file i'm going to create a file called train.jar from everything under the com folder so if i run this command if you if you see here in the output this all this output is coming because of the option v the cvf c means to create v means verbose and f means to create a file so it is adding all these files under the com folder into that jar file called train.jar so now it has created a file called train.jar so if you open this jar file you can open this jar file using the jar command or you can open this in like any winzip package any winzip software for example i have 7zip on my machine so i'm going to open that using 7zip so if if i go under dev training bin folder i should see a train.jar i'll just go by the most recently modified date and then i'm going to open this with 7zip and once i open it under 7zip you'll see that it creates it you'll see the same directory structure and you'll see all the class files so this is a jar file and the advantage of jar files is 
you can give this jar file to somebody else and they can run the Java programs on another machine. So you can just copy this jar file and then the way you run this would be you say jar, you say java dash cp which means dash class path and in this you say train dot jar you give the path to that okay you can give like a full path to that c colon users sujit dev or you can give a relative path as well and then I'll say com dot training dot equivalence dot demo equivalence right and this is how this program runs this Java is nothing but your Java runtime the Java virtual machine and that you're giving dash CP is a class path class path is nothing but a set of directories or jar files separated by semicolon on Windows or separated by colon on Unix so you have to give the class path and that class path and this and this class file will be picked up from this jar file the train dot jar okay and you can also list the contents of a jar file by saying tvf train dot jar t means to list the contents of the jar file and here you'll see all the things which are contained inside this jar file and see all the the pack uh, the directory structure is same as what we have in our directory so the jar file is just a reflection of our directory structure but inside of inside of a uh, zipped file which is the jar jar file jar file is pretty similar to the zip file so why don't you all try this out and see how it works